Let's say you're switching jobs or maybe you're just changing email programs. You probably want to bring all of the email addresses you have saved in that account with you. I'm Jill Duffy for PCMag.com and this is Get Organized, a weekly series of articles and videos about digital organization. And today I'm going to show you how to export and import contacts from Gmail. And at the end I'll take a quick look at Outlook too. Now there is a more detailed article that comes with this video. You can find it at PCMag.com forward slash get hyphen organized. All right, so let's export some contact information from Gmail. And by the way, this is a test account that I use, so that's why there's not a lot of contacts here. So the first thing you'll do in Gmail is select the group that you want to export or just pick all contacts. Now if you're going to be importing this file into a new Gmail account, you're going to choose that first export option. If you're going to Outlook or really just about any other email application, you're going to choose Outlook CSV format. It's a very flexible format, although it does lose some information. Now vCard is what you'll choose if you're using an Apple address book, or a lot of other applications do support vCard as well. vCard's a little bit more comprehensive, and it's probably going to be a bigger file. And like I said, it's not necessarily accepted by all programs. So I'm going to choose Outlook CSV. It just takes a moment, and that file is going to be exported. Now importing the file is even easier. You just go to More and Import choose the file, in this case it's called contacts.csv, and choose to import it. Now that'll bring in all the addresses and names and other data that you have associated to the people in your email account. Now like I said, CSV might lose some information and for more details on that you definitely want to see the article that comes with this video. Now let's move over to Outlook for a second. So the scenario here is I've exported my contacts from Gmail and now I want to bring them into my Outlook account. It's pretty simple. You choose Import, select Contacts, and then when you select the file you want to choose Tab or Comma Delimited Text File. That's because I exported a CSV file. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values and it's pretty much the same thing as a Comma or Tab Delimited file. You go through the rest of the prompts and that's really it. This is one of those organizational tasks that's really quite simple but might sound complicated and I really recommend people do it, especially when they're changing jobs. For PCMag.com, I'm Jill Duffy, helping you stay organized. You can email me anytime at jill underscore duffy at PCMag.com.